Welcome to our Five on Five. Please be joined today by Jeannie Crumpacker, running for Oregon's second congressional district as a Republican, running for Greg Walden seat. Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's my, a, my it's an pleasure. honor to be here. Yes, yeah, so you're from you're from the Bend area, from from yeah. Central Oregon. Yes, sir. This Absolutely. is your first time running for public office. Uh, I'm, yes, I not guess a, not a politician. Yeah. So, so yeah. tell us about yourself. A little background. So I'm actually seventh generation Oregonian. Um, so my six grandparents are uh, actually buried over in Jacksonville, not far from the studio here. Um, oh, wow. um, and they actually, General John Miller actually gave the land for uh, the Pioneer Cemetery. Wow. So we go, we go way back in this area. It's, it's been a long time. And as, as family lore has it, um, my fifth grandmother was uh, the first uh, white woman born in the valley. So, wow. but that's family lore. Don't hold that to me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you worked on Wall Street. Yes, yes. Tell, tell us about your So I left experience. Oregon for about 20 years. I went back um, to Georgetown University and actually had the opportunity to intern for uh, Senator Gordon Smith. Um, and a very smart person told me, um, don't go straight into politics. You need to become a business person first. So I went, uh, worked on Wall Street, and was an energy trader. Um, and was very proud of my work. Um, you know, when I started in the business, we um, were only producing about 5 million barrels of oil a day. And now, as of September, we're producing 12 and a half million barrels a day. So the United States is basically energy independent, which can really change our foreign policy. So, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. And, and so is, is you kind of referenced maybe politics or something you've always had an eye on. Is it just yeah. a matter of time, by, biding your time, if you will? To, yeah. To this so, you know, my, uh, my sixth grandfather actually represented this area before we were a state, um, and then wow. my great grandfather was um, was was in uh, represented Oregon uh, in Congress. So, it's been in the blood for a long time, and it's something I've always wanted to do, because I think at the end of the day, you know, you can really help as many people as possible in those positions, um, especially on a federal level. You're running against several Republicans with statewide name recognition yes. and political and, and political experience in Salem. Yes. How how do you overcome that, for lack of a better word? It's, it's going to be a real challenge. I mean, you know, the, the, the field is very strong. Um, you know, luckily, I have a very strange last name. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, I've been hearing it my whole life. You know, I, I equate it a little bit to the Johnny Cash song, um, the boy named Sue. Uh, could have named it the, uh, the boy named Crumpacker because, you know, it's a weird name and I've been getting beat up for it. So hopefully it's memorable enough, you know, um, that, that people, when they hear it, will remember the name. So it's going to be hard, though. Okay, all right, we're gonna take a quick commercial break. Great. Much more in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five again here with Jimmy Crumpacker, Republican running for Oregon's second congressional district seat, uh, held currently by uh, Congressman Greg Walden. So, Jimmy, what, what would your priorities be if you were elected? Well, I think land usage is the major issue on a federal level. Um, you know, when I look at the landscape and I look at the economy of Oregon, when I was a kid, 8% of the GDP of the state came from the logging business. That's under 1% now. We had 85,000 timber workers when I was a kid. It's now 25,000. And it's basically because of federal regulation. You know, I equate it, you know, to the federal government basically going into Texas and telling them that they can't drill for oil because that's what they did with our timber industry. And you know, after 25 years of not allowing private companies to manage that land, what we've seen are devastating forest fires. And that's something that has to be taken care of from a federal level. Um, we have to allow private companies to get back in there. And the first thing I want to do as a legislator is do what I call the Log Act. And so that is something that will really get private companies back to work in those forests. Hmm. Okay, and I'm, I'm curious because we, we were talking about it, there hasn't been a primary race on the Republican side here, yeah. here in Oregon, for the seat, I should say, yeah. in, since the 90s. Yeah, it's um, been a long time. How do you differ from Congressman Greg Walden in your politics? You know, Greg Walden has been a great leader um, for our district. Um, you know, he is someone that I actually emulate. I mean, it, it's uh, the, the differential, I would say, on a national scale is I'm very pro-trade. Um, I believe the Trans-Pacific Partnership is something that, that is very positive for Oregon, especially in the 2nd District. If you talk about all the ags, you know, being able to open up the Japanese market, being able to open up the Indonesian market, the Chilean market, that is something that is critical for Oregon. You know, 70% of Oregon jobs are trade-related. 
And so that for me is something that, uh, that I disagree with slightly with the National Party. You know, and I'm, I'm also worried about tariffs. You know, I think tariffs really should be handled by, by Congress more than anyone. So that, that, that's something that, that, you know, I have slight differential from, from the National Republican Party. But, um, you know, I think that Greg Walden has done a phenomenal job. And obviously, you know, being head of Energy and Commerce Committee, you know, he is, he is a, he's a loud voice for Oregon. Uh, we talked about it before about the running against several other people with name, sure. more name recognition, political yeah. experience. It's obviously a huge district, yes. the second largest in the yes. country, I believe. Yes. You know, how are you? I imagine you're putting a lot of miles on that car. Yes, absolutely. We're in the car every day. We're going to try and shake as many hands as we can between now and uh, May 19th. You know, that that's the important thing is really to be able to get in front of people um, because you know it's th th this is a great forum to be able to say, hey, this is who I am. But mm -hmm. when you can actually shake someone's hand, I think that that really matters and so I'm gonna be in the car a lot and then you know hopefully advertising on your great station and others you know because that's really how you get your message across in politics because unfortunately not everyone is um, as in a, a, a tune with 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 the political situation as as you and I are so as we were discussing it's gonna be a fascinating primary race good yeah. to see you thanks very much for thank coming you in. for your time I really appreciate My pleasure. it thank you stay with us we'll be right back